can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 63 here, the sixth question, the second set of uh, chapter 8. It says, determine the minimum applied force P required to move the wedge A to the right. The spring is compressed a distance of 175 millimeter, which is 0 0.175 meters, and neglect the weight of A and B. The coefficient of static friction of all contacting surfaces is mu equals 0 0.35 neglect of friction at all rollers. So this question, um, it's really a simpler version of question 62. Uh, that one, if you study for exam, I would encourage you to go watch uh, 62 instead of 63 because this one is, is a, a little easier, I would say. So always draw your free body diagram when you do like frictional ridges or like machines or frame this is like a machine type of setup right always draw different parts of the machines and frames right and then draw the free body diagram separately so over here right we already have the force um, so with the some of the forces in the y direction right um, well this whole thing if you calculate it out one Right, and 15,000 uh, times 0.175 meters, uh, that should give you uh, six, uh, 2,625 newtons. Right, this is going down plus the normal force at B, and let's just say uh, the normal force at B um, equals to zero, so MB should give us 2,625 um, newtons. Right, and sorry, let's write it over here. What P is. And now uh, some of the forces in the x direction, right? These forces are uh, the normal force and they're e equally distributed to the left and right of the object B here, so they all cancel out equal to zero. And now we look at the second uh, object over here, right? So this force definitely equals to this force, or it's just equally an opposite, Newton third law, right? So 2, 6, 2, 5. Newtons over here, right? And um, yeah, let's use some of the forces at uh, y again, right? Because that's the force that we got. Uh, so negative two six two five newtons and uh, plus. So let's say here over here we call it na, right? So Na um, times cosine of ten, right? Which is, you know, this angle is the same as that angle over there, and times cosine, which is, a, you know, this force going that way, right? That's what we're calculating over here, and um, minus again, this force is going down, right? So we have to include this force as well, which is. Na times sine of 10 newtons, uh, sine of uh, 10 degrees times 0 0.35. I mean, mathematically, engineerically speaking, if I want to explain my math, I should have put 0 0.35 in front of Na, but you guys get the idea. I'm trying to find the y direction component, y components of uh, what Na is. And after that, uh, that's all. That's there are only three forces, right? Going into the y direction. Uh, this whole thing gives you zero. Solve for Na. Uh, put everything into your calculator. Na should give you 2,841 newtons, right over here. And then we can use Na to use to do the sum of the forces in x direction, and um, that should give us the value of B, a uh, P. So value of P there, it's neg uh, plus P, right? And um, since this force, this force, and this force, they're all going to the negative direction, we can just say P equals, right? Because P has to counteract all these three forces over here. So yeah, equals uh, 2,625 newtons 
uh, time. But um, anyway, yeah, hopefully uh, this video, uh, video was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies, and um, I'll see you in the future. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.